Sorry, I already said no to everyone else. It's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm starting now. So go like this when you want you me to start, Matt. You can put it down Matt. there. Your phone. Let me know when you want me to start, Matt. Okay. Well, yeah, you'd have to get another... quite a lot closer to her to get the yeah. audio. I'm right here. You want mine? Yeah. Okay. Come back. All right, ready? I'm gonna start with the wide shot so that I can see all of you. And then I'm gonna walk right up to you, Sherry, and you can start talking, okay, ready? Yeah. One, two. Lives over luxury, lives over luxury, lives over luxury, lives over luxury, lives over luxury. Lives over luxury, lives over luxury, lives over luxury, lives over luxury. My name is uh, Sherry Honkala, and I'm with the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign and the Poor People's Army. We are going to be, we're here today in Milwaukee uh, because we want people to know in Milwaukee and across the entire country that we're here to resist the Democratic National Convention and all of the things that are going on uh, inside the, that'll be going on inside the convention halls. Um, as a formerly homeless mother, we're very serious about ending poverty, hunger, and homelessness in this country. We're um, ashamed of what's happening here in Milwaukee with uh, the hiding of poor and homeless people in preparation for the convention. Uh, we know that this happens all of the time. Um, we're tired of, of watching the money, the 67 cents out of every dollar that should be spent on domestic needs of the people that live in our country uh, to be used for war. And we care about poor people and our brothers and sisters across the entire country. So we want to encourage each and every one of you to come out to be with us on July 13th. July 13th at 4 p.m. opening day of the Democratic National Convention. We are going to be uh, posting later uh, the conversation that I had this morning regarding permits. Uh, we've applied for a permit both for a march and uh, to set up an encampment in Martin Luther King Park uh, because we don't have money to stay at the Ritz. We don't have money to stay at the Hilton and other fancy hotels. So we need to be able to stay someplace so that we can lift our voices. The last thing that poor and homeless people have in this country is their voice. We're not gonna let them take that away from us. If we need to, we're gonna take this and we're gonna go after this thing legally. So right now, I'm gonna introduce some people. Um, they're gonna say a few reasons about why they intend to march on July 13th at 4 p.m. on opening day of the Democratic National Convention. I'm gonna to start to the left here with Jamal Johnson. Hello, my name is Jamal Johnson. I'm here on behalf of the Stop Killing Us marching organization. Before I begin, I'd like to say, please don't forget Puerto Rico. Support them. Send prayers to them for the devastation they're incurring as a result of the various earthquakes. Uh, I'm here because we need to bring national attention about community violence that's going on in our communities. We also need to speak more about police brutality that's going on across the nation. I will be present on July the 13th to bring that to the national level. Stop Killing Us March has marched from Philadelphia and New Jersey to Washington, D.C., to the Congressional Black Caucus for three years. Now we're bringing it to all of the politicians of the Democratic Party. And we will be present on July 13th in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're asking anybody who's interested in stopping and reducing the violence in our communities, addressing the police brutality issues, to come and stand with us. Thank you. And next, uh, we'd like to have uh, uh, a young member of our team, uh, Tot, who is going to speak about why youth 
should join us in record numbers on July 13th. Hello, I'm Todd Metz, um, and I'm saying that I will let my voice be heard, and I'm speaking for all youth across the nations. Um, this is like an international problem. This is touching so many different communities, you know, not just urban, but all over the United States of America. Um, it takes a village to raise one child so that the child can raise the village. And by all means, with change and, and the, the different cycles of trauma that's involving poverty, that's involving, you know, not having funding for schools, turning, you know, the system into the school to prison pipeline where there's no help, there's no voices being heard from the youth. So I'm speaking for all youth and I'm here to say that on July 13th, 2020, that I'm going to be marching so that all youth can be involved in this movement. It is a serious problem and it reaches so many, so many different communities. That's what I want to say. Thank you. And next we'd like to hear uh, from a, another young member of our team, uh, Nick. I'm Nick Carmack. I'm a soldier in the Poor People's Army. I just want to say that, you know, I wish I wasn't here right now. I wish that I was up in my nice loft, like you see across the street here. Um, these, you know, but I can't afford that because I'm drowning in student debt. By the time I graduate from college, I will be in as much debt as my parents had from their first home. That shouldn't happen. It's crippling an entire generation. And this, this needs to change. And another thing that needs to change, and another reason I'm marching, is the climate catastrophe that we're experiencing right now. Jamal mentioned Puerto Rico. It is a direct result of irresponsible corporations and politicians who are doing nothing to address the climate crisis. This is something that is affecting the entire world and disproportionately affects poor people. You can look at what happened in Australia happening in Australia and all over the world and people without resources don't have options and that's why we're here marching and because we are supporting the poor and vulnerable people across this world and we're making our voices heard to ensure that the generations to come are not experiencing what is down the tunnel. We, we need to change that future for our children. And next, um, from somebody here locally, uh, from the Green Party, uh, I'd like to introduce Barbara. Hi, my name is Barbara Dahlgren. I've been in the Green Movement quite a while now, and Milwaukee is my adopted home. I am marching because the Democrats may think that they own this town, that they are in charge of much of the government, and that they think they can take over Milwaukee and take as many of the streets as they want, take as many of the uh, centers as they want, and cordon everybody else off into free speech zones. And I don't think that's an appropriate way to conduct a democratic society. And not only that, the Democrats have not been doing such a good job. If you haven't realized, we're one of the most segregated cities in the country. We had riots uh, a few years ago because of that. We've, um, the Democrats tried to pass a budget that would give 50% of the, the city budget to uh, the police force instead of to community programs and to the things that we need. Milwaukee um, officials have brushed off the needs of the people to get rid of the lead problems in, in the pipes. So I'm here to say that we're not going to take it anymore, that we're not going to vote blue no matter who, that the Democrats are not the safe choice, and that a democratic society belongs to all of us and not just a single party. Thanks. So, uh, Rachel, would you like to say anything as a mom? No, OK. Um, so I like to put people on the spot. So, we need each and every one of you that's watching this uh, to share this video, uh, to get involved. We have... Um um, you know, we've, we've got to do something. Our planet is in jeopardy. 
Australia's in f on fire. Uh, our government isn't going to do a damn thing about what's happening in Puerto Rico. Um, our young people are dying in the war here at home and being shot, uh, and money is being spent to kill uh, people uh, and poor people around the world. We can't stand by and let this happen. Um, the, literally, the planet and the future um, is in jeopardy right now for several generations to come. So go now uh, to economichumanrights.org, uh, donate $20 for 2020, and you know, take that one day, bring your children, your grandmother, bring everybody, four o'clock July 13th, permit or no permit, our voices will be heard. Thank you. Lives over, Lives luxury. over luxury. Lives, Lives over, over luxury. Lives 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 over luxury.